That question is out there. And today to discuss, Reverend Franklin Graham has some thoughts and joins us now at Fox and Friends. Reverend, thank you for being here. Thank you. Good to be with you. Reverend, what place does free speech have right here? If indeed, and you have ISIS taking credit for the first time for this attack on our soil by them and saying mm. more is to come, they're willing to slaughter, by, the, by their quote, slaughter Pamela Geller, who, who led this event here, and anyone who supports her. Where, where do we stand between freedom of speech and faith? Well, first of all, you know, uh, as a Christian, uh, I don't like it when people mock my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And what, what this event in Garland, Texas was doing was mocking the Muslims. And uh, I disagree with Islam. I don't believe in Islam, but I'm not going to mock them and make fun of them. And so I, I, I'm discouraged uh, that uh, people would do this. We, we live in a, in a society now where there's no civility, there's no respect. We don't honor people of, of who have differences. Uh, we only attack each other. And so uh, I, I agree that the folks in Garland, Texas were wrong. Uh, they had the right to speak. Uh, I have free speech, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go around and cuss people uh, just because I have the freedom to do that. I think we need to show respect and civility and and yes, we are a nation uh, made up of many different faiths, uh, people of many different races, and we need to respect one another. But as a Christian, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God that died for my sins and rose from the grave. And he'll come into every heart that is willing to invite him and, be and believe in him and trust in him. And uh, that's my faith. Sure. But for those that believe differently, I'm not going to mock them. No, I, I stayed with you in that. You know, mocking is, is cool. I think if you're a Christian, you believe that it's cool. But I do believe that in this nation, you shouldn't be slaughtered even for being offensive. You know, you can go other places and you see that happening now and to die for your opinion here, as offensive as it may be, is wrong. And now ISIS is claiming credit for the attack in Texas here. Reverend, let me ask you this. Where has our leadership failed in terms of naming radical Islam, calling it out, and ultimately defeating it so far? Well, first of all, um, uh, it's wrong to for, for violence, period. Uh, the Muslims have no right to, to go around shooting people because somebody mocks them. And uh, our president is, is not giving the leadership, unfortunately. And I believe we have uh, lowered the bar and we're allowing Muslims uh, f uh, to come into this country uh, to immigrate. And I think we should halt all immigration temporarily from countries that have active terrorist cells operating in those countries. We should not be allowing immigration into this country from those countries that have active terrorist cells um, because it's only going to get worse. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse and we're going to see more shootings like this and it's, it's just, it's coming. And our president and unfortunately those in Congress uh, seem unable to do anything about it. How should we pray right now? Well, we, we need to pray for our country. Uh, we need to pray that this country will turn uh, back to the God of our fathers. And we need to pray for our president. We need to pray for our, our, those in leadership, the Congress, that God would guide and direct their hearts. We need God today in this country. We need his help. And we need to love one another, uh, regardless of what uh, that person believes. We sure. need to love them and respect them. Amen to that. Franklin Graham, we thank you for your time today. Reverend, an honor to have you here. Thank you.